Hi Aries, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting your messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Quick warning, the dogs are going crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, they keep telling me somebody's here in my yard and I know somebody's here in my yard, but they keep wanting to come tell me. <laughs> so anyway, um, please uh, uh, forgive me for they're barking, but they're dogs and, and, you know, this is my work time, so I don't have a choice. So anyway, <laughs> here we are. We're going to get your reading. We're going to see what's in your energy and uh, what your angels might want to tell you and some maybe some advice. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, Aries, we're just going to jump right in and get your cards, okay? Let's just see what's going on. I'm going to put you up here a little bit so I can do the cards here. The Empress. Three of Cups. Queen of Cups. Page of Cups. <laughs> and the Magician. Well, look at that. Really good cards here. Uh, they're giving me a, nag a nagging sensation, though, so um, <sighs> these look like really great cards, but there's something off. What is it? What's off? There's something off. They're trying to tell me something's off. Um, oh, my goodness. Somebody's here with me. Gee. <laughs> okay. Um all kinds of distractions today. Okay, so we have the Empress here, right? So that's about giving birth. That's being fertile. That's like giving birth to new ideas if it's not actually giving birth. So, I mean, with these cards here, I mean, there's a lot of love here on the table. So with these cards, somebody could actually be pregnant. Somebody could actually be bringing in a child. However, um, I don't know. I don't know. It could be like... um giving birth to new ideas and, and new uh, concepts, like new, uh, something new, something. I just feel like something new is on the horizon here. I don't know. It's whatever you're manifesting though. Whatever you're manifesting. It's coming to fruition here. It feels like you're going to get your wish. Whatever it is that you truly want, I feel like it's coming together for you. Three of Cups is, you know, a celebration of your accomplishments. You know, it's a celebration of something, celebration with friends. However, if you are feeling down or if you're feeling low, this is saying lean on your friends. They'll be there to help you pick you up and, and make you feel a little bit better here. Your friends, there's friends that you can count on. Um, and I don't, these cards are really good cards. So I don't know why, I don't know why I'm getting this crazy sensation here. But anyway, Queen of Cups. Wow, she's, she's a beautiful energy. So if this is you, which I, I, I'm kind of feeling like this is you right now, Aries. You stepped into this energy. She is, um. somebody who is gentle and loving and supportive and they're when you need them they're good listeners and they have empathy sometimes they could be a little shy or a little insecure but um they have creative abilities i'm feeling the hands so you might work with your hands you might um create with your hands or fix things with your hands i'm seeing like um I'm seeing a mechanic for some reason, a mechanic, like working on cars or, or furniture, building furniture. I, I, I don't know why, but you know, you guys know I say what I get. So that's probably only for one or two of you that need, you know, reassurance that this is your reading. Um, page of Cups. Well, that's, you know, somebody who's bringing in happy news or a pleasant surprise. Um, it could even be an apology if you're owed one. If you're single, there, there, you could have a secret admirer. 
Um, if you're not single, uh, this could be a sign that you need to be a little more romantic. I don't know, but the, the magician's here, so I feel like there's something you really want to happen that you're really hoping for, and I feel like it's going to happen. But I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like something not so good has to happen before you get something really great. Like, I feel like there's going to be a negative and then there's going to be a, an amazing positive. Again, don't know why I'm feeling that way, but and maybe the negative already happened and that's why you have all these really great cards now. So now the amazing um, positive is coming in. So let's just get some more cards because I don't, I don't want to confuse you because <laughs> I'm a little confused, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes out, right? Justice. Okay, so maybe you are getting justice for a negative situation or something that was out of whack. Nine of Swords. So you have anxiety over something here. Look at this. The magician's coming in again. So you are definitely getting a wish here. You're definitely having something manifest that you've wanted or you've been wanting. But there's something that... That's got you in your head. You're a little conflicted here. There's some anxiety. You're like, you're not, you're going to have to make a decision. And oh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to curse and I, I apologize. But my dad always used to say this shit or get off the pot. Right. And I feel like that's kind of what I have to say to you right now. Either make the move or let it go. Maybe that's what it, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're there's something you really want and you have to let something go in order for you to have it and you're afraid to let it go because you don't I don't know. You have to anxiety over something. <sighs> All right, let's just get more cards because <laughs> Like that justice card, that could be something legal. That could be like a, a divorce or a marriage or, I don't know. I don't know, Aries. What are you going through? <laughs> These are really great, amazing cards. But then, look, my nagging feeling was right. You, you got some anxiety here. That's what it is. You're, you're worried about something. Um, what are you worried about? Because these are beautiful cards. You're leaving something behind. Or you're trying to decide whether you want to leave or not. You gotta let go of something. That's what I said, right? That's what came to me. You, had, you might have to let, let go of something. You're leaving. You're walking away from something. Best friends. Again, look. A three of cups. Best friends. Count on your friends. Lean on your friends. Your friends are going to help you in this situation somehow, some way. Your friends are, um, I don't know. There's something, like, I think there, there's something about a friend, like, doing something for you that's going to make you really happy. But you mean, you, like, if you were to, if your friend were to tell you this ahead of time, and they might tell you ahead of time, but if they were to tell you ahead of time, you would get really anxious over this, and you would tell them not to do it. Because even though it's going to work out in your favor and it's for your highest good, you would tell your friend not to do it because there's some, like, anxiety or something about it. But I, your friends might do it behind your back, and it, and it results in something pretty amazing. Oh, that's a crazy story, but that's what I'm getting. So I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm telling you, all oh, these doggies, I am so sorry about them. They don't, they won't stop too until they're gone and they're going to be here for at least another 15 minutes. All right. So you got Athelinda, the goddess of never, never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. All right. So what does Athelinda have to say to us? She's all, she's like, um, 
the phoenix, phoenix rising from the ashes energy, right? She's about transformation and um, all right, so many of us exert tremendous energy in an effort to not break or fall apart, right? We resist our grief or our heartbreak or we deny the need to change until the choice no longer feels like it's ours. You know, something kind of comes in and sideswipes us in, in, in life and shatters who we think we are and how we identify ourselves. So what Akalinda is here to remind us is that vulnerability is our greatest strength. You know, if we are always broken, we can never break. Right? And I know that kind of sounds weird, like always being broken, but it, it's not a failure. Right? It's something that we sh it's not something that we should avoid. It's actually kind of the point because if we let ourselves, um, if we let our ideas of ourselves go up in flames, that beneath the ashes, our true self can rise above like the phoenix, right? So it's not the heart that ever breaks, it's the ego. The heart only ever expands. So, how about that? That's pretty powerful, right? Um, it's not the heart that breaks, it's the ego. Interesting. I actually really like that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get some new cards. This is, a, this is a new little deck. I got a new small deck. Um, and it is, I got actually a couple of small decks, but anyway, you got the lizard spirit, lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt, embrace your transformation, put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Interesting. So it's saying that no matter what you're going through, you're going to come out just fine because you're going to reinvent yourself or you're going to rebuild, you know, you're going to be okay. It's so weird because like, you know, these, these cards are so great. These are beautiful cards. So I know a beautiful, beautiful things are happening for you behind the scenes. They really are. You just got some, you're just going through something. You gotta, I think you like have to let go of something or you're leaving something behind. Um, but that's for your highest good. You have to make this, this, you have to make the decision to allow that to happen, to allow it to, to let, to fall apart or to allow it to, um, you know, be released because it's bringing in something really, really beautiful for you. Look at this Empress. Look at this Queen of Cups, this page. You know, there's, you're really manifest, you've manifested this, like you've planted the seeds and you've been waiting for them to grow and, and they're about, you know, you're about to be able to harvest that fruit. That's the magician energy. It's like something you've always wanted to, it's coming, it's coming in. You've got the magician twice. That means you're a powerful manifester. You know what I learned? And I'll share it. Um, last night. It's like, you gotta, you gotta speak this into existence. So, cause our words are so powerful. You gotta say, how can, how can, how can this, this get better? You know, this is great. How can this get better? So always like be that positive and always have that unending, um, roof. Like don't put that ceiling on it. Don't say, uh, um, it can't get better than this. No, you don't want to say that. It can always get better. So you, we want to say, you know, what can get, you know, what can get better, you know, and allow that universe to bring you something better. Allow it. And you're, and that's a super manifester and you have two magicians here. So I feel like that's, what's coming in for you. I feel like you're being a super manifester right now and you're not, you don't have that ceiling. You don't have that cap. You're like, let it bring it, bring it in. Cause this is what I want. I want an amazing life and it's coming. So, I don't know, let's get a few more cards here before I <laughs> go on my tangents. 
surrender to the divine okay so i know you have some anxiety i know but just give it up to god let the angels take the wheel here like let them bring you divine um inspiration or um inspired action let them bring that to you and you know follow through if they bring you inspired action um but you know don't try to control the situation don't try to manipulate it don't try to force an outcome because that's not what this that's not what you need right now okay heart-to-heart -heart conversations okay so you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody and it could just be your friends it could be you just opening up with your friends here right to to get their advice to to being really vulnerable really authentic really um you know you know just being 100 percent honest and and seeing seeing uh what can happen and how they can help you or you know maybe you have to have it with somebody else maybe there's a uh, you know somebody you have to walk away from maybe that's the conversation you have to have but um i think it's time that dog i'm so sorry okay <gasps> passion magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it that means somebody is going to be super attracted to you so if you're attracting somebody if there's somebody you're thinking of and you want them to come in you need to show them your passion you need to at least make your presence known because they're going to feel it they're going to see it. it i feel like that you're magnetic right now and they're going to be super attracted to you so you know that's what i'm going to say if there's somebody you want to, to come in make yourself known show yourself <laughs> they're going to feel it they're, energetically they're going to feel it all right now we got a little our last advice card is one of those it's little sassy cards so they have some curse words some of them not all of them but some of them do so if a curse word comes out i apologize but they're fun cards and let's see what advice they're giving you today okay so it says pencil it into your schedule what are we penciling in the power of serenity now okay so penciling in peace penciling in calm that's what you need right now because you're super anxious so my advice aries is to call up one of your friends right someone someone you're close with someone you trust with your feelings someone you can be honest with right call up one of them go out grab a beer grab a drink grab a cup of coffee and just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation maybe they can give you some clarity and get you out of this anxiousness right so that's what you that's what you need now you need serenity now you need to get out of the anxiety something amazing is about to happen for you so why not allow it get you some charms don't judge a book by its cover because the outside might not be so pretty but the inside is pure gold and it'll make you happy so make sure you're not judging somebody there's a surprise here there's a surprise something like a pleasant surprise with this page of cups right there's a pleasant surprise here and a transformation so some kind of a change some kind of um you know that the leaves fall the, the seasons change they it could be you leaving something behind but there is definitely a change here and i feel like it's like it's your decision chocolate chocolate is so sweet right there's something sweet here and it also gives off um serotonin right so it makes us feel better so there's something here that's going to make you feel better and it could be a gift you could be getting a gift with chocolate right because chocolate people give chocolate as gifts and the page is like a gift or an offer or you know a pleasant surprise or you know i don't know if if all this is about money for some reason you're gonna get your piece of the pie so don't worry about it I mean, even if it is about love, which it kind of feels like it, um, 
you're going to get your 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 due you're going to get what you deserve like you're going to get what's meant for you we're all meant to be loved right we're all meant to love and be loved and you're going to get your slice lastly there's an ornament and for me in this reading all it's arm candy so there's somebody who is going to be really attracted to somebody else and they're going to feel like they're arm candy that you're going to want to show them off or they're going to want to show you off like there's definitely um some a, a lot of attraction here a lot of passion here coming in for you so aries i am not upset for you i'm you know i know that you're going through something difficult here where there's a some anxiety and you might have to leave something behind but you got something really amazing here on the horizon i'm really really excited for you all right, but that's all I got for you. So give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that'll help me a lot, make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light.